Hey everyone, welcome to Lock Outdoors and welcome to my camp. On today's episode, we are going to be doing some cooking. Something I've already just done. Mm. Welcome to the Roku experience. Let's get cooking, shall we? Hey everyone, Lock Outdoors here. Well today I've got something a little bit different. As you can see, I'm not in the woods right now. I am at the local grocery store and I am about to do something that the fine people at GoTV Network has kind of challenged us to create. And that is a video of going into their local store, getting some groceries, and then taking that food and taking it into uh, the woods. So that's what I'm going to do. So one of the first things I'm going to need is I got to get myself some corn, canned corn. One of the most important things I take when I go into the woods for food, believe it or not, is instant mashed potatoes. This stuff is golden and can do so much. I'm taking that. So the next thing I need is a little bit of ground beef. And the special ingredient, a small can of cream and mushroom soup. The last two ingredients I'm going to need, a little garlic, and an onion.
Hey everyone, well, I made Thunderbrook pie. It's a variation of another recipe that I call Thunderbrook stew. Thunderbrook stew is made of uh, your type of your type of beef or meat uh, with pasta and cream of mushroom soup. Uh, Thunderbrook pie is made from your choice of beef or meat with uh, corn, onions, and garlic. Fry all that up. And then you make like a, almost like a shepherd's pie and you make some uh, instant potatoes and then you fry that up over top and lay it over top and then it makes a nice little crust. The secret is cooking the beef or the meat over a stone for the first little bit and that gives it a d distinct taste. I don't know how to describe it, but it really adds a beautiful flavor to it. Anyway, bon appetit. Now let me show you. Mm. Thunderbrook stew got its name from a brook that's in central Newfoundland. It used to be called Leech's or Leech Brook, but they reverted it back to its more uh, indigenous name. So a friend of mine and myself uh, were spending the afternoon up hiking and, and doing some swimming and stuff up through this brook because it's a beautiful spot to swim. Anyone who knows Newfoundland and knows of Thunderbrook, Leech Brook, uh, knows that this is a great spot to swim. Well, the rocks are all super smooth. You know, for hundreds and thousands of years, they're rolled smooth. So you cook on those stones right next to the brook, and hence the name. It was really filling, too. It has a lot of energy in it. The cream of mushroom soup is something that I use to kind of glue everything together. But it it's a wonderful flavor. And again, the ingredients are one can of condensed cream of mushroom soup. Your choice of beef or, or meat, whatever you want. A small can of corn. An onion, a clove of garlic, a little bit of oil, and some instant mashed potatoes. Oh, and don't forget the large rock to cook on. That meal is easy enough for two people. Two, uh, two big meals for two people, or probably three decent sized meals for for three people because there's more in that than I can eat tonight for sure mm. <laughs> really good but I can't stress it enough I really can't but the initial fry on the beef really needs to be over the stones and just just enough to kind of brown it up on one side to get that flavor that natural Kind of a gritty flavor into the beef but the onions and the garlic mix into that oh man i could stay here all day now now just to let you know you can actually pack all this stuff in with dry goods and i do that quite often actually the instant mashed potatoes are dry goods so they come in a bag. You can put that into a kit bag and you can have like several servings of potatoes. So that's the several meals per per bag right there, depending on how much you eat. You can get dried corn from your local uh, scoop and save type of store. Bulk burn. And all you got to do there is just boil it for a bit, rehydrate it, and then throw it right into the frying pan. So you got your dried corn. I do it a lot with chickpeas too, actually. You can get dried chickpeas 
and do the same thing. Now today, for sake of time, I didn't go into town to go to to get the dry goods. I just went to my little local grocery store, and they had more than enough. I'm only a couple of kilometers from the highway, so it's not like a big deal for me today. So your dry goods are instant mashed potato, dried corn. You can actually get powdered cream of mushroom soup if you wanted to. So that's three. Your onions and your garlic and whatever type of meat you want. And I guess, I've seen it done quite a bit. I've never done it, but you can rehydrate rehydrate the uh, jerky sticks or those, uh, those beef links and stuff. You can do that too, I would imagine. I don't know what that's like fried, but that would certainly add a different flavor to things, though, for sure. You would have to boil that too for a bit. So there's a tropical storm coming tomorrow, starting this evening, and it's already starting to get cloudy. So I think tomorrow evening, I'm going to come down and spend the night in the storm down here. We'll see. Depends on the wind. I'm not in the mood to be down here in a giant windstorm. It's probably not the wisest thing to do, but we'll see. Oh, man. When you caramelize the, the potato and fry it, you've got those crispy bits throughout. Oh, that really kicks it up a notch. Mm. 